How to choose the design for your new bathroom. Hello everyone. Welcome to Decor Art Channel. In this video, best bathroom design catalog and important tips to know. Like the video and subscribe to the channel to get our new videos daily. When you are having a new bathroom put in, the existing layout of the bathroom furniture the collective term we use for the main physical fixtures in a bathroom such as baths, showers, wash basins, toilets, and cupboards need not necessarily be followed, though you might decide it is for the best in any case. Have a think about what elements you would ideally want in your bathroom, which of them you can fit in practice in the space you've got, and what layout would work best to accommodate as much as possible of what you want. Depending on the size of your bathroom, the position of the window and door, and the available space, you may have room for any of the following fitted oblong bath as standard bath grouted into the tiles along two or three walls of your bathroom. An optional shower screen may be fitted so it serves as a shower to fitted corner bath ideal for small bathrooms or can provide a cozy seated bathing experience for two freestanding bath for a traditional and luxurious look. These can be sited anywhere in the room and are often preferred away from the walls in larger bathrooms a pride shower enclosure is generally designed to be. Sited across a fully tiled corner of the bathroom, these come in a variety of form factors including quadrant and rectangular, and often feature rounded outer corners. They comprise shower drainage tubs and matching screen shower cabin alike shower enclosures, but fully enclosed. With screens on all sides, is designed to be sited away from the wall standalone toilet of various designs available from modern close a couple to traditional high rise and low rise designs with separate tanks hand a basin these come in various sizes from large ones that you can comfortably hold both hands in at once to narrow ones perfect for tight spaces combination vanity unit these space as saving modern designs combine the functions of a hand a basin toilet and covered into an integrated unit bit it a traditional element of bathroom suites of earlier times still popular with some buyers bathroom cupboard and enclosed space in which to store your toiletries bathroom supplies and first aid kit mirrored essential when cleaning your teeth and useful when applying makeup and styling or cutting your hair heated towel rail a useful alternative to a bathroom radiator allowing you to hang up your towel to dry with the assistance of your central heating at times of year when it is on. Radiator, a normal radiator plumbed into your central heating circuit to help keep your bathroom nice and warm in winter airing covered the tall enclosed covered often. Used to cite the hot water cylinder for homes with conventional and system boilers. It can be used to help keep towels warm and dry if there is free space in it. If, however, you have changed your boiler to a combi boiler and therefore no longer need a water tank. You might find that ripping out the entire airing cupboard frees up space that can be useful for siting a new shower for. Example, extractor fan and this should be placed either in the ceiling if it can be connected via the attic to the outside of the house or in an outside wall please note that baths, showers. Hand of basins and extractor fans all require holes to be drilled in. Walls by your plumber is a process known as cord drilling. If you are moving your bathroom furniture around from the layout you inherited, you may need to have existing holes filled in too. 2. Choosing a style for your bathroom furniture. When you come to choosing your bathroom furniture such as bath, hand of basin, and toilet, it is well worth taking a look around at the styles of different brands and models to get a feel for what suits your aesthetic tastes and if you live with a partner and or children, their opinion may also be worth taking into account at this stage. You will tend to find broadly speaking that the world of bathroom design today is split into traditional and modern schools of aesthetics, but within each school, there are plenty of distinctive styles, whichever style you select. We strongly recommend working consistently within that style for each individual bathroom because the result then looks coherent. 3. Choosing a color scheme, fashions change, and many homebuyers now feel that those colored suites look dated and of their time. 
and seek to replace them. In the 1990s, traditional white bathroom furniture and tiling, which had dominated British bathroom styles up to and including the 1950s, made a stealthy comeback. Another quarter of a century later, white bathroom suites have come to dominate preferred bathroom furniture style once again, with both traditional and modern designs sharing clean white color scents. However, that doesn't need to mean that every last detail of your bathroom should be white, or even that you need to follow the current white trend at all. There is plenty of room for individual expression and variation according to your personal aesthetic tastes. And you may for instance find that dark or brightly colored bathroom floor or wall tiles provide a contrast with your white bathroom. Furniture that gives your room more of a sense of individual personality, warmth, or dramatic flair. 4. Choosing a wall covering. It is traditional to fit ceramic tiles to bathroom walls to at least about a meter in height in order to protect your walls against taking in damp from splashes originating in the bath and hand up basin and their taps. This approach is known in the plumbing trade as half tiling where you have a full height shower and who doesn't want one these days you will probably want tiling to extend higher at least to the height of the shower and ideally all the way up to the ceiling even if you only have a shower attachment to your bath with an adjacent shower screen you will probably find that full height tiling in that area looks better and helps protect the plaster of your walls from damp once you have decided which parts of your walls need tiling, you can select from a wide variety of tile sizes, designs, and colors. Brick as shaped metro tiles have been a fashionable choice for traditional art style bathrooms in recent years and are available not only in white but in a host of vibrant single colors. Where square tiles are concerned, larger sizes have become more popular than the traditional smallish square tiles whatever shape and size of tile you prefer think about adding personality by introducing some color variation into your design instead of settling only on a single tile throughout even if this is the cheapest option your tiler will normally want to start tiling from around the bath or other main feature of your bathroom furniture so that the tiles immediately above it around both sides are whole ones and will then work downwards to the floor upwards to the ceiling where applicable and outwards to the other corners of the room depending on how low the window comes there may even be scope for tiling into the edges of the window opening whichever areas of wall you leave untiled will probably be best painted some older bathrooms have wallpaper on them but because wallpaper tends to peel away in damp conditions it hasn't usually aged well Specialized bathroom paints that are formulated to be resistant to damp and mold are widely available, depending on the condition of the bathroom wall. After the